introducing styled components. So I'm going to, first of all, I have to install them. So I'm going to say yarn at styled components. And now you will see how awesome it is to work with this library. Okay, the first thing you need to understand is that React components, what will give you is going to be a component that has the CSS inside of it. Maybe this is insane for you right now, but trust me, I'm going to make you understand this. So I'm going to stop importing this bullshit. And if we come back, it's going to be ugly buttons. No problem. But I'm going to import styled from styled components. All right. And what this is going to do is that now I can use a styled. Okay. So now let's create our own button. Okay. Look at this. This is going to go away. Done. But here we're still using the buttons. So let's create it. What we're going to create is a styled component. This means a component from styled. And it has a tricky syntax, but as soon as, soon as you get it, you're good. Look at it. I'm going to do button, right? And I say equals. And this is a styled component. This means I do styled like this. And then I do that. And then the HTML element that I want to style. In this case, I was using the button element. So I'm going to type here button. All right. Again, this is the HTML element that I'm about to style. And now I'm going to type back, back ticks. This is a back tick. Okay. Back ticks. And here I'm going to write the CSS. I know it's insane, but trust me, you're going to like it. So I'm going to cut here. I'm going to paste here. And look, it looks weird. huh? Great. And now I'm going to do the same thing here. And I'm going to say, just like in SAS, I don't know if you know about SAS, but it's like in SAS, active and also focus. And I do outline none. That's it. This is my button component. And now I am using it immediately here. And basically, as you can see here, it's working. Basically, what this is doing is that styled is creating a button with this CSS inside. And now I'm able to use this button right here. This means that I can, for example, let's say that I want to make a div container for my buttons. All I have to do is do this container styled and I want to make a div, right? All right, div done. And I'm going to give this height of 100 VH width of 100% and a background color of this one. And now all I have to do is use it. That's it. I'm going to remove a fragment here and look at that beauty. The CSS is inside of the JS and I am using the components that have the CSS already inside of them. It's a lovely thing to be. And now if you come here, it is what we were expecting to be, right? And it's wonderful. It is wonderful. And I am not doing any kind of SAS. I am not doing any kind of less. I am not changing my Webpack. In fact, this doesn't need me to change Webpack. This doesn't need me to install something else. Just, in, just I still styled and I'm good to go. Now. You will ask me, hey man, what are you going to do with button success and button danger? Well, because what we're creating are components, guess what? Components have props, right? So I can listen to these props. Check this out. I'm going to make this component and this one will be danger and this one is going to be success. Like this. This is just props. And inside of this thing here, I am going to say background color. And I'm going to call the props that I just passed. And I ask it and I say, props danger. You know what? I'm going to remove success. I'm going to make it success as default. And I say, props are danger, yes or no? If, they're, yeah, if, the, if that's a yes, then I'm just going to return this. Or, and bye bye. Look at that beauty. 
And now I have both of them, danger and success. Wait, props, danger. Up, oh, there we go. Done. I'm going to change this background color for pink. And we're good to go, that's better. And now you will say, yo man, but what happened with the content? Hey, remember, this is just a button, all right? This is just a HTML button. All I have to do is hello. And he had the same thing, hello. And we're done, boy, we're done. Look at this beauty. Let's close the CSS, we don't need it anymore. And let's delete the CSS, we actually don't need it anymore. Here, what you just accomplished was something that would have taken you two components, one more file, and a different class name, and a pain in the ass. Look at this beauty right now. That is React components in your face, style components in your face. I am going to leave you here, and I'm gonna see you on the next video, because there's still a lot to show. If you are losing your shit now, you have no idea what's coming next. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.